Because I'm lazy, it's because I'm smart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like Bill, Bill Gates said that he'd always hire a lazy person because they'll always find the Easy. fastest and yeah. easiest way to get the job done. Yep. <laughs> My sofas is limited. Um, once it's been heated uh, too long or to a certain point, it will no longer have the same properties. This, I guess the silver burns off of it or something. And um, so like the old sofas that's still on there, mm -hmm. uh, it may look like you just move it into place and it'll do all right, but it's not really, you have to add new to every joint. Okay. And so that's, uh, that's your compressor that's in, in place. Um, the only thing left to do now is the wiring, which is pretty simple. But it's also like the most uh, intimidating part, for me at least, the electrical. Mm -hmm. I'd, I'd work with friggin' pipe all day, man. Keep, that, keep those wires away. Hey, take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have our three wires that we pulled off of. Huh? I'm around this out of the way. No more spaghetti, Jesse. I did it so it pulls those out of the way. All right. So we have our three wires um, that were hooked up to this originally. Uh, ground goes to a little bit. Compressor has little ground tabs, um, and then you have a one and a two. It doesn't matter which one goes where. All you're doing is making cur you're making current flow within. It doesn't matter which direction it's going. It's going to spin the compressor in the right direction. Um, so, with that said, let's just hook it up. There's little tabs on the fan motor. Now the fan motor, uh, which we're going to replace also has uh, the the stock style has three wires it has a ground wire the one that we're going to deal with has only two wires and they're not marked doesn't matter if it's positive or negative either that motor is only going to spin in one direction so hook it up to either the one or the two um, so you hook them up to the same thing with using these these little guys so this one your top left and your bottom are your power so you put your little little tabbies on there I'll go ahead and put one on the top because it makes sense in my head. And then I'll put, you know, I put the, the fan motor on the same one. And then I use another one of these guys on here and do that with the number two. And then the other side of the fan motor. And then the other two, there's the, uh, and then you have your capacitor. It's a start capacitor to give this thing enough juice to start. It goes on this tab on the top right and the middle right so all four of your tabs will be will be taken up essentially um, and again on the, the capacitor it doesn't matter which side it goes it's just one's in one's out holds charge and releases that's it so that's that's kind of how your wiring is going to be so it's going to be on the machine obviously so I pull this stuff off And there's three little, three little knobs sticking out of the end of the compressor itself. Uh, they correspond with these three. Your little, your little hat goes on top. And it just pushes on there. And then the uh, capacitor has a little, little uh, receptor, receptacle here that goes on little tab on the right side just kind of snaps in place then you hook up your wires and now there is a uh, little channel that you can run the wires through and then have them clamped into place um, it's really not necessary it's just to keep things you know clean looking 
you could let the wires you know be all over the place if you really want to just make sure none of those terminals are touching each other um, if you go to start it up and it just makes a noise you know just like ee, then turn it off you probably have a short somewhere in there um, then you, you know, install your fan motor again, then you'd start it up, and you'd, well, obviously you'd recharge it. Anyway, that's installed, uh, compressor. And you'd put your, you have any metal tape. Your sense is back on.